Hey guys, oh man, just dusting my plant here. It's real dusty, but unfortunately, as I do this, a lot of these leaves, if you call them leaves, are falling off. It's probably not a good sign. It's a beautiful day out here, in Milwaukee. It's about 70, mid 70s, sun's out, it's just gorgeous. Hear my wind chimes. See them? Oh, there they are. Wind chimey. Making noise. I love it though. It's like meditation. Got a little bit of a mohawk going on. I actually cut my wife's hair recently. She wanted it short for the summer. <laughs> wow. Hmm. good for you <laughs> wow that feels really actually not bad Ow. and I shaved it actually not bald we shaved it nice and short uh, like a pixie sort of deal looks cool I like it a lot I like short hair on myself and on others less things to worry about there is plenty to worry about these days. Oh man, another couple leaves. Damn it. So we are moving to Portland, um, Portland, Oregon. My brother lives there and uh, my cousin and my brother's two uh, little girls. So we're moving out there in a couple months, getting ready, starting to look for jobs and a place to rent. And uh, I'm pretty excited, taking the two dogs. It's gonna be a big move. We don't have a lot of stuff, actually, now that I think about it. I'll rent a U-Haul, take a nice road trip. It's going to take, I don't know, Milwaukee to Portland, Oregon. It's going to take a while. But yeah, so we're getting ready for that. Just enjoying the summer, chilling out, working at the escape room. Uh, it's a new escape room, actually, at a uh, local mall, Southridge Mall. It's called 60 to Escape, so like 60 minutes to escape. To underwater casino so they gotta break into an underwater casino and rob the place steal the gold and get out here at the mall we get a lot of walk-ups so people that just see it they're there you know, have nothing to do and they thought oh we'll do this not realizing that it's not easy it's hard I mean there's you got to think <laughs> you got to work to get out to make sure that you uh, complete the mission in this in this case uh, steal the gold and there, is, uh, there are some puzzles involved that are not easy. We do help them out a bit with clues and things like that, though. So the next room that's opening up is the Pirate's Curse. Pirate's Curse. And it looks rad. I mean, it's intense. It's big. Super sets the scene. Piratey. It looks great. It looks super cool. Look at this guy. Big old leaf. Fell off. Damn it. But I'll propagate it. So, actually... I've been just sticking them in the dirt, but what I'm going to do in this one is crack it like that. So it's got some opening, make some uh, little hole in the dirt, and just stick it in there, that little wet part, and hopefully it'll propagate. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. With this plant, they haven't actually much, so whatevs. I bought a new, new vape. It's a smock, smoke, I'm not sure what that's, how you pronounce that. But I do like it. It's got a... I don't know if you can see it in the sun. So it's got a read out there where it gives you the, the battery life and the wattage and things like that. You can change the watt by pressing the button a few times and you know change it, make it stronger, make it looser, uh, however you want it. But I was using the um, Mi Pod, M-I-P-O-D, and I just had to keep changing the pods, buying new pods, and it wasn't expensive, but it's a lot cheaper than pipe smoking, I'll tell you that, because of the the, the tobacco that you buy for a pipe can get expensive and it goes kind of quick for me at least it did so buying vape juice is much 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 cheaper you could change the uh, nicotine percentage so if you want to quit you can start going down that's what originally they created vaporizers for vapors vaporizer I call it vaporizer oh my vapors with this one, you do get a nice cloud, much much bigger cloud than the Mi Pod. So let's see. It's 
It's quite windy, so I can't do any hoops or circles, but I did a square. I blew a square the other day. It was a perfect rectangular square. just floated out. I just had my mouth just like perfectly squared. Oh, Coach, girl, how you doing? She is a beast, this one. Oh man, just pees constantly. It's like this excited pee that I can't break her of and nervous pee. She's got some chihuahua in her, so she just gets pretty antsy and doesn't have those shakes, like those chihuahua shakes, but she, uh, she's just skittish, you know? So, drives us nuts. Get used to it. She's a rescue. We keep telling ourselves she's a rescue. So, you know, we're doing a good, a good deed, due, dil due diligence, if you will. God, she drives me nuts. I love that sound. It's so nice. I'll miss my daughter. She's staying back here in Milwaukee with her mom. She'll be going to UWM. So that's going to be difficult, but I'll Skype with her. I'll talk to her as much as I can. She's got a boyfriend now, so she kind of does her own thing. I don't see her that often, unfortunately. Miss her. It's funny. We thought uh, last Sunday was Father's Day, and it wasn't celebrated the whole day uh, till we went outside and like dinner time wished our thought my father-in-law uh, happy Father's Day and said yeah that's not this week it's next week so we celebrated Father's Day the whole day my wife got me a couple presents a couple board games actually we got uh, Blitz Bowl uh, which is like a football on steroids board game a little you know miniature guys and throw the ball and tackle each other and it's pretty fun actually all your little dudes have stats their own little stat sheet and they do different things and it's pretty rad and then we got terraforming mars which is did not come yet it's delayed for some reason uh we keep hearing great things about terraforming terraforming mars it's supposed to be an excellent board game it's been on the geek board game geek list you know top 100 for years if i'm not mistaken and it uh, gets great reviews, so we're excited about that one. Haven't played it yet. And then Tiny Epic, not Tiny Epic Kingdom, but Tiny Epic something or other. <laughs> it's like a small box, right? But it's inside, and all the little meeples are really tiny. Uh, uh, a lot of wood, little bits and pieces, and it's really, uh, I think it's going to be a medium medium meaty game if you will so not heavy meaty like difficult but it's like a euro euro game worker placement um tile laying getting trying to control different areas on the map and battling each other i've been watching some uh netflix watch the witcher Finishing The Witcher. We didn't finish it yet. At first, I didn't like it. I actually turned it off. I thought it was too corny, almost. Um, and I still feel at bits it is a little corny, but it's pretty good, actually. The the fantasy, the world building is right on the money. Uh, I love The Witcher. I love playing Witcher 3 on my Switch and on my PS4. Uh, Gwent, I'm a huge Gwent fan, as you know. Some of my videos uh, contain Gwent playthroughs and things like this. With The Witcher show on Netflix, they do a lot of references to the game, to Gwent, and things like this. And it is, it's really good. I mean, Harvey Keitel, no. <laughs> Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill? Anyhow, whoever plays uh, The Witcher, whose name is Geralt? Gerald? Gerald from, ah, oh, man, I don't know. Anyhow, uh, he's great. He's got the voice down. He's huge buff, you know, and rough and tumble dude and yeah, he does a great job. Uh, my wife calls it a little soft porny. And it is at times, but not horrible. It is very adventurous and exciting. And the, the bard in there, whoever the bard is, that actor is great. He's super funny and his songs and he's like the comic relief. We've also been watching Community again. We've, we've watched the entire series Community and man, that show is ridiculous. I mean, there's some bummer shows, not that great, but the, the, the majority of Community is hysterical. Uh, it's, and it's all character driven. It's those characters. They're, they're just, each one is spot on and they do, they do it well. Otherwise, I've been reading some science fiction books. I just read New Earth by Ben Bova 
and it was pretty good. It wasn't excellent. Uh, the book I'm reading now, though, I was gonna, it's a trilogy, that one, New Earth. Actually, there might be more than three books. I was gonna order the second one on Amazon, but I decided not to, and I ended up ordering The Three-Body Problem. It's a Chinese author. It won the Hugo Award, and President Barack Obama says it's an excellent book, and NPR says it's an excellent book, and just Kirkus Review, book list, every one of you just got phenomenal reviews. And I am about, I just got it yesterday, and I read, probably a hundred so pages and I'm a slow reader so that's a lot for me and the book is phenomenal it is it's historical which I didn't think I'd get into but uh, in Chinese about Chinese history so I have no interest in that really but um, the way that they throw it down is really interesting and brutal I mean it's it's pretty brutal but it's got a it's and it's like right at this point it's lightly science fiction. It's more about uh, people's families and their lives and all in China and they're starting to get like this guy is being recruited. This I think he's a astrophysicist and he's being recruited by the government um, to work in some certain like sect, uh, secret sect of the government in China and it's all leading to alien communication they're getting some sort of alien communication and these aren't spoilers you can see this right as you read the back that an alien civilization is coming to earth uh, to take over because they need our resources or what have you I'm not sure yet and but we've got like a number of years before they arrive I can't remember if it's, but it's hundreds of years if not a thousand years and we as a civilization are starting to become aware that this is happening and then what we do about it again I'm only a hundred so pages in but uh, that's what the back of the book told me and that seemed pretty intriguing and so far the setup is interesting and it's for me it's a page turner I, I just want to keep reading it and the writing, whoever, I mean, I can't, I don't know the guy's right name, it's, it's, he's a Chinese man and the name I wouldn't even be able to pronounce, but uh, his writing is ridiculous. It's so good. It's, it's super detailed, but also he simplifies these huge mathematical issues and philosophical questions and theology and huge science obviously uh, influence but simplifies them to where an idiot like Mami can understand it so it's pretty nice my little guy here hello so yeah getting ready for the move to Portland shave my wife's head playing some switch playing some board games with Mary that's really it oh also I just passed a thousand subscribers so it's pretty cool felt pretty good about that I've been sitting in the ni upper 900s for I don't know four or five months three months three months four months four months something like that and uh, just two days ago three days ago I was like hey Mary look and I showed her on my phone oh, I reached a thousand she was like oh yeah cool so that's cool <laughs> all right guys I hope you all doing good Stay safe, wear your masks if you go out in public, and uh, come to 62 Escape. Check out our underwater casino if you're interested. It's at Southridge Mall in Milwaukee. Make the trip, it's worth it. It's fun. Uh, hopefully I'll be working. All right guys, you're all doing well. Enjoy, peace out.